Hello friends, here's a quick tutorial on how to get every prison skin in Risk of Rain Return. First off, you're going to want to turn off new stage variants since all of the skins are going to be hidden within variant 1 through 3. First off, we've got our Commando Prism on Desolate Forest, variant 3. If you go all the way to the top left of the map, you'll find a little blue root sticking into the ground. Uh, if you climb down it, it's actually a vine slash hidden rope. So you can get into this room right here, which is a very long and empty room. If you climb down the vine a second time though, you'll be able to get into a very small room which is going to hold your prism shard for commando. Next up, we've got Huntress, which is going to be in Magma Barracks, uh, variant 2. If you drop down right before the lava pool, you'll be able to get into this area, which you can see on screen now. If you just hold right, there's no traps or anything like that, just hold right and you'll get to an area of a statue and there's your prism shard. Next up, we've got Bandit which is going to be hidden in the tutorial, so it's probably the easiest out of all of the prison skins to get. If you just go to the hard left, and then you'll see a hidden vine, you can climb down on the vine and just start walking to the right. At the very end, you'll get your prison skin, so probably the easiest out of all of them to get. Next up, we've got Acrid, which is going to be in Boar Beach, Ancient Valley, Variant 2. So... Uh, what I mean by that is Boar Beach is only accessible from Variant 2 of Ancient Valley, so you're going to want to be on Variant 2 Ancient Valley, obviously. I used um, Artificer to get this skin, but you can also use Mercenary uh, with a lot of Hopu Feathers and Backup Mags and Whirlwind, but you can also just do it with any character if you have enough mobility, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get to, it's like a little parkour section. You, you might uh, struggle a little bit to find out what's actually the danger zones, like the area I just jumped past that might have not been a danger zone, I wouldn't know. So there you go, there's your uh, Ball Beach skin. There's actually a second Acrid skin available on the UES Light Contact, where you get the logbook. If you just continue more to the left, you'd have to jump and go left, and you've got your second skin for Acrid. And directly below this is going to be a bunch of golems dancing with a jukebox, right? Um, if you go past the area, that's going to find you a void chest, or I think it's called a rift chest, which is going to be a thing where you can store your active item to keep it for future runs. Um, you don't really need that, you just need to jump over it. So once you are over it, you'll see there's a little platform and then a second one. On the second one, you're going to get your mercenary prison skin. Next up is Loader on Variant 2 of Sky Meadow. Uh, if you can see where that temple is, you're just going to want to jump into the temple. Once again, this one's quite hard to get to without a lot of mobility. I highly recommend going as Artificer and getting yourself in Hardlight Afterburner and a bunch of Hopu Feathers to chain link your uh, Tectonic Surges. Also run Flamethrower so you can stall yourself in there. But as you saw, I got it there. Next up is going to be the strangest out of the bunch. It's going to be Chef Skin, um, which you get from killing Acrid using your second uh, special, going to be Cook. So it, you specifically have to finish him off with it. You can use it before that, it's fine. You can damage him with whatever. You just need to finish him with Cook, so you turn him into a meal. You don't really get a special meal or anything of the sort. It's just you get the achievement. So <laughs> there isn't really much point to do outside of that. Next up is going to be Artificer on Dried Lake Variant 3. Uh, this one, you just have to go all the way to the left, and right here you just swerve back in immediately after. This area, I do recommend you just spam jump, because there are a couple spots where you can actually die. Um, here, I almost died to a couple of jellyfish, but th that's just my own fault. Uh, you should really be clearing out the teleporter before you go for this, so... Just my advice before you actually go for this skin. So if you go up here, uh, you'll have to go th straight here. Just keep jumping because you can fall into a hidden gap. And you're going to want to jump over this T block and drop down here. Here you're going to want to move uh, out and then swerve back in. And then just spam jump once again and you've got the prism skin. After this, we've got Drifter, Ancient Valley Variant 2, same as the Boar Beach Valley. So... If you just move all the way to the right, you'll see there's a bridge here, and there's another bridge which has a snowman on it. You can actually drop down, and there's some invisible platforms with gaps in them. You can jump between the gaps and 
there's a rope uh, underneath, as you can see, which will let you get up to the top here. But it's way easier to just use a bunch of mobility to get up. Those are all of the prison skins that are available in the game right now, but if you're still struggling to get them, or you find the method to be too tedious, here's another way to do so, which is going to be through editing your save file. So if you go to Steam, use the data, and then go to two strings of numbers, which are going to be the modification date the same as your install date for the game. You'll be able to open this file right here, which is going to be your save file. So as you can see, I've highlighted challenge underscore unlock underscore huntress underscore skin underscore s underscore completed, all in quotation marks with a comma at the end. That's how you unlock the Huntress uh, prison skin. But if you want to unlock any other, for example, Chef or Acrid, you'll just replace the word Huntress with Chef. In the case of Acrid, though, there is two prison skins, as you've seen. So you're going to want to write S and S2 as two separate things. So you're going to have challenge underscore Acrid underscore skin underscore S. And you're going to have the same thing, but with a 2 after the S. And that's it. So... That's how you unlock every single prison skin in Risk of Rain. Thanks, guys.